it's a uh, it's not morning right now it's actually 7 45. i don't normally wear sunglasses inside if you are interested in any of the items that i mentioned anything that i can find links for reasonably i'll put below sometimes i get a little bit lazy and i just don't put down the link but i did want to kind of fill you guys in on just kind of what i've been up to and i thought i would take today to give you a little bit of an edc update of just like what's in my pockets not what i take with me every day for my like with my camera stuff but just like literally what's in my pockets and why without further ado let's jump right into my everyday carry or my what's in my pockets the first thing on my list is the bag and that is a this is the sling light from bellroy this has been my go-to kind of edc bag for the last maybe three months it's super minimalist uh it's very it's very light as it is in the name uh it's easy to roll up and stuff into a bag if you need it later or if you're not using it at that moment it's got zippers on both sides which is always going to be a plus surprisingly a lot of storage it's made out of a ripstop which apparently is 100 percent recycled but my personal favorite thing about this bag is that the the cinch system the straps are connected to these little kind of wings on the side and no matter what you put in here it will always tighten it to the smallest form factor which is just great when you are trying to keep your gear light it's got one small pocket on the inside they call it a sunglass pocket because it is a little bit higher than the bottom of the bag it's also got a little side pouch in here for things like airpods and a mini organizer in the front with a key loop does anyone actually use these bag out of the way let's move on to the wrist check and it is still the huckberry navi xl timex this is still my favorite watch until i can afford a rolex explorer 2 polar edition this one is just gonna have to do it's very simple but honestly i just at this point i prefer to my apple watch tech is not always the best the centerpiece of every what's in my pocket edc video and that is the iphone 13 mini this thing is an absolute beast and uh i've been just rocking it completely naked super liberating feels like a skinny dip at midnight with your buds i really don't baby it as you can see there's a lot of marks all over it but the phone works it gets the job done it's easy to one hand cameras are great and the form factor is quite literally unbeatable the second piece in this mini collection is this this is the apple wallet the find my iphone card wallet you're probably thinking at this point why don't i carry it like this and sometimes i do it just bulks it up just that little bit extra and it's actually, this is a really nice wallet to have for your cards, just to have in your pocket. If I'm at a restaurant or somewhere where I'm putting my phone on the table and I'm sitting down for a long time, that's where I really like this because I'll take my phone out and my wallet and they go together and there's no leaving one or the other around. It's just nice, neat, compact. And obviously no video like this is complete without the shades, clip-ons, Bailey Nelson, not sponsored, but uh, I really like them. I also just got this hat, not part of my ADC. The pen of choice is the red Lamy Safari. I've been rocking a Lamy Safari since I can remember and uh, always a founder pen edition. Love this pen. This is my third one since I was probably 16 years old. Extra fine. If you've ever been on Instagram or seen Shark Tank, you've probably heard of this thing. This is the Lark water bottle and uh, it's really expensive. But honestly, it is one of the, my favorite things that I've bought and I've used it every day since I bought it. And the main thing that separates this bottle from everything else is the fact that it is self-cleaning. So what you do is you just press this button right here and it immediately starts a cleaning cycle and will sanitize your water, kill all the bacteria in it. So if you're like me and you use a bottle every day and sometimes you forget to clean it and you open it up and you get that nasty smell, I don't get that with this. And it's sleek, it's nice. Lark, check it out. For keys, you know, we're still rocking the Orbit key. I originally used the leather AirTag holder to deal with my key fob issue, but recently I've switched to this one. This was also in the package Orbit Key sent me. 
but it fit perfectly in there and I actually just love how nice and complete this is. It's just a beautiful aesthetic. Got my keys, all the tools in here. I can open boxes with this. Highly recommend Orbit Key, and if you're interested, affiliate link below. I do make a little bit off it, but I promise you that you are gonna be the one that benefits way more than I do if you decide to pick up an Orbit Key product. As far as knives go, you know I don't leave house without my baby banter. Literally my favorite knife probably ever made. It is the most satisfying fidget toy. It's a great little knife and it's just so, so beautiful and small and compact and I love it. Just when summertime hits, I just, I feel the need to really pare down my gear and uh, just bring the bare necessities. So the last thing on this list, which is the newest edition, well, second last thing, I also have <laughs> this crayon. the Bullet Journal official notebook. Now, if you've been on YouTube or you've done any sort of minimalism or you've been a part of any trend ever, then you probably have heard of bullet journaling. I'm not gonna get into the full thing in this video, but all you need to know is that I keep everything in this journal. This is my to-do list, my schedule, basically everything you probably use your phone for right now, I'm doing it analogly in this notebook. And spoiler alert, I've never been more focused and Dare I say it, productive in my entire life. It's higher. Hmm? Seriously, I'm doing things like sketching ideas, making lists like crazy. You can see the, the blue from the, from the crayon. The, the video you're watching started as this. That's very new for me. The blue here is just, uh, it's, I'm using the crayon as a highlighter. With ink pen and highlighters, sometimes you get a lot of smearing along the pages. With a crayon, you actually don't get any smearing and you still get the highlighter and you get to walk around with a crayon and people always ask, why do you got a crayon? A crayon, a pen, and a bullet journal are what keep this YouTube channel going as of right now and keep my schedule going. If I were to lose this book, I wouldn't have a clue what I'm doing anymore. But the reality is, is before I just didn't know what I was doing. Now I can say I'm actually busy and I'm not just functionally overwhelmed. If you were like, hey Chris, can we get a coffee on Thursday? I'd be like, one second. Flip to my little notebook page, see my entire month right here, and look and be like, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm busy that day, but how about next Friday? I've got nothing going on. Should I pencil you in or pen you in? Needless to say, that was just a little rundown of the current kit that I've been using. This is constantly evolving always, but the theme is always the same. Pair down, pair down, and see what you can kind of get away without. I really enjoy making these types of videos. I hope you enjoyed watching. It's really hot. I need to go wipe my face. Lovely talking to you guys again, and I will see you possibly tomorrow, possibly the next day. Peace.